Hi, Zoot here again with the Boss BR800. Now on the BR800 we've not only simplified the look of the unit, replacing all the buttons with these nice touch sensors, but we've also simplified the operation and it has changed from previous generation BRs. So if you're getting tech support from your buddies, some of it will not apply. The first noticeable change is the Easy Record Wizard. Pressing it gets you into all of the various different steps you have to do to record. Everything from creating a new song or continuing to work on the last song you were working on. In this case, let's create a new song. Pressing enter confirms your selection at that point. Now I can select the various input sources here. Everything from the electric guitar plugged into the direct high impedance input on the, on the front of the unit. Or if I was using an acoustic guitar with a piezo clip pickup, here's a nice little graphic of an acoustic guitar plugged into the front, or an acoustic guitar using the built-in mics. And it even turns those microphones on automatically, recording in stereo. Bass guitar plugged into the front. Let's say I wanted to record a condenser microphone plugged into input number four, which is the phantom-powered input. But you could record four microphones simultaneously onto four individual tracks. And to do that, I could select four-channel input here four tracks are armed for me automatically and whatever is plugged into input number one will be recorded onto track number one, input two to track two and so forth. But in this case I want to be able to do an electric guitar track and I'm going to move to my category. The category just narrows the scope of the effects that you're looking at immediately depending upon the input source you've selected and the type of music. So if you want to get into some country stuff, get you right there. If you're a shredder and you want to get instantly into metal land, that sort of thing you're there. In this case I want to be able to maybe do a blues track here so I'm going to select that and here's where I can go through and select another different uh, patch if I wanted to audition all the various different blues, blues patches or even select a different type of a, of a blues pattern there. Let's say maybe I want to do something more like a, a version 2 pattern there with the symbol happening. There's a little fill there so let's select that and pressing enter finishes the process arms track number one for me and uh, I'm ready to start recording. So go back to the beginning of the song always here by pressing the zero and away we go. <music> pressing stop automatically saves your performance and you're good to go. If now I wanted to record, let's say, a vocal track onto track number two, um, again, Easy Record is my best friend for that. So now we're going to continue working on the current song here, but this time I want to be able to select a vocal plugged into input number four there. Just finish going through that process now. And if I press the effects now, we're looking at all our VE20 vocal effects. So if I wanted to do a double track on that, I could select double track. And ready to start recording on track number two with my vocal. So that's Easy Record on the Boss Beer 800. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.